Hi there. Um, this is going to be our sixth videos um, about the Gauss-Seidel method used for solving system or linear equations. So uh, let's just crack on once again. So let's start with the matrix A, uh, which is 4, negative 1, 0, 0, uh, negative 1, 4, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 4, negative 1, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 4. There we go. So this is going to be our matrix A. Um, this is our vector X. Um, since the matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 by 4 matrix, we're working in a four dimension space. So X, Y, Z, and W is the vector of our four dimension space. Um, which is going to be equal to C, uh, which is negative 1, 2, 4, and 10. So this is our system of linear equation, which, which written in another way, only gives us, um, simply gives us uh, 4x minus y equal to uh, negative 1, negative 1. Uh, sorry, negative 1. Um, negative x plus 4y minus z equal to 2. Um, negative, x, negative y plus 4z minus w equal to 4. Uh, negative x minus z plus 4w equal to 10. And once again, what I'm going to do here, I'm basically going to get x, y, z, and w out, for, of, um, out from the... This system of equations, so basically out from each and every equation without actually solving the system, the linear system of equation, um, because I'm going to need them to start the iterations. So I'm going to keep in a lot of explanations here because, you know, I mean, come on, people, we are at the sixth video. You don't actually need me to repeat all those things. So um, this is actually going to give us, uh, let's just extract x, y, z, and w. So 4x equal to negative 1 plus y, 4y equal to 2 plus x plus z, uh, 4z equal to 4 plus y plus w, and 4w is equal to 10 plus x plus z. So um, this is actually x equal to negative 1 over 4 uh, plus 1 over 4y, y is actually equal to 2 or 4, which simplifies as 1 half, plus uh, 1 over 4x, plus 1 over 4z. And uh, z is actually equal to uh, 4 over 4, which simplifies to 1, plus 1 over 4y, plus 1 over 4w, and w is equal to 10 over 4, which simplifies as 5 over 2, plus 1 over 4x, plus 1 over 4z. And let's just rewrite this a little bit better. So, exactly, x, x is actually equal to negative 1 over 4, plus 1 over 4y. y is equal to 1 over 2, plus 1 over 4x, plus 1 over 4z. z is equal to 1, plus 1 over 4y, plus 1 over 4w. And w is equal to 5 over 2, plus 1 over 4x, plus 1 over 4z. Okay, so those are basically our x, y, z, and w expressed um, in terms of other... Um, yeah, they're basically dependent on other variables. So um, th those are anyway the ones that I'm going to use in my iterations, as I said, in all the other five videos. So let's crack on. Iteration one, step one. So let's write our table again. So iterations and values. And since I copied uh, this one, I copied it from the textbook. So the textbook actually gave us um, a few starting points. So those starting points are 
uh, 0.25, uh, 0.44, uh, 1.11, and 2.72. So basically those are our, are going to be our starting points uh, for the iteration. As I said in the other videos, you can start everywhere you want um, if they don't actually give you a starting point. So some starting points. And I generally prefer to start with zero because it can't allow a lot of you know uh, calculations and so on. Um, so it doesn't really matter where you start from. It's just you know a matter of how how long it's gonna take before it converges to the desired um, precise values. Um, okay. Well, not not really precise, but estimated values okay so well basically we're gonna plug uh, those values in so our starting values this time not gonna be a bunch of zeros but they're gonna be uh, x equal to o.25 y equal to o.44 z is equal to 1.11 uh, and w is actually equal to 2.72 so I'm gonna underline all of them again so I'm gonna to have to find all of them. I'm gonna start with x. So um, x is actually this equation here, which I'm gonna write. Um, so negative one over four plus one over four times uh, 0 0.44, which is the value of uh, y, um, which has been given to us. So x is actually gonna be, well, we're gonna bring everything to, you know, I'm gonna kind of work with the fractions. So uh, negative 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.44, and therefore x is gonna be negative um, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.11, and this gives us x, which is equal to negative 0 0.14. Uh, let's crack on with the uh, second step of our iteration one so iteration one step two so step two is actually going to be well iterations iterations values so uh, we're going to update our x um, so our new estimation for the x is negative 0.14 uh, y is still going to be 0.44 uh, z is still going to be 1.11 and z is to, in w is still going to be 2.72 um so i'm going to underline those three because i already found x so we're now going to find y y is actually equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 x which is divided by x plus 1 over 4 z which is divided by z therefore y is actually going to be 1 over 2 plus one over four times negative 0.14, which is our value for our new value for x, um, plus one over four times 1.11, which was the value that was uh, that's been given to us for z. So y is actually gonna be one over, um, I'm sorry, we cannot work with fractions, so it's gonna be 0 0.5 plus 0.25 times negative 0.14 um, plus 0.25 times 1.11 uh, and therefore y is actually going to be um, 0.5 minus 0.03 plus 0.28 which is actually going to give us y equal 0.75 um, okay so let's go on and go uh, to the iteration one step three so i'm gonna write my table once again um there we go those are gonna be our iterations and those are gonna be our values so we now know that x is equal to 0.14 we know that y is actually gonna be 0.75 z but the is still 1.11 is the one we are looking for we're in step three and w is equal to 2.7 ah 72 okay so we're looking for z and then we will be looking for w 
So z, what's the equation for z? Well, it's 1, which is greater, it's not dependent by anything, plus 1 over 4y, so it's dependent by y, plus 1 over 4w, so it's dependent by w. And therefore, z is actually going to be, well, it's actually going to be 1 plus 1 over 4 times w, which is um, o dot 75, uh, plus 1 over 4 times w, so um 2.72 so z is actually equal to well let's find out um so i'm just gonna uh 1 uh, plus 1 over 4 uh well 1 over 4 is oh that 25 times so that's 75 plus so 0.25 times 2.72 um, so um, this is actually going to be well z is actually going to be 1 uh, plus so dot 19 plus so that's 68 and therefore z is actually going to be 1.87 what is our iteration 3 and let's go on let's go on again so new piece of paper new values new everything so okay so this was our iteration 3 we're going to go to iteration um I'm sorry, I is iteration one step three. So we're gonna go to iteration one step four. I'm gonna write our table once again. So iterations and those are gonna be our values. Um so we know that x is actually equal to negative 0.14, uh y is equal to 0.75, z is equal to 1.87 uh, we just found it um, and w is going to be equal to 2.72 because we have to find it in this very iteration this very step of this iteration so w is actually going to be equal to well let's find out what was the equation well the equation was uh, 5 over 2 plus which is a scalar it's not dependent by anything plus 1 over 4 x so it's dependent by x plus 1 over 4 z so it's dependent by z um, therefore w is actually going to be 5 over 2 plus 1 over 4 times negative 0 0.14 which is the last estimation we had for uh, x plus 1 over 4 times 1.87 which is the value we had just found uh, so our very last estimation for z so it's actually going to be equal to well 2.5 plus so 0.25 times negative 0.14 um, plus so 0.25 times 1.87 and it's actually going to give us uh, 2.5 minus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.47 which is going to give us w equal to 2.94 okay let's crack on with the second iteration and i'm going to stop iteration 2 step 1 so with the iteration 2 step 1 i'm going to reload all my values and update them um so iterations values um so we already know that um x is actually equal to negative 0 0.14 y is equal to 0 0.75 z is actually equal to 1.87 and w is equal to our um, newly found value so uh, 2.92 94 um so i'm gonna reload and underline all of them because i'm gonna have to find all of them all over again um so x is actually going to be equal to well let's see the equation for x uh negative 1 over 4 uh plus 1 over 4y so x is actually going to be equal to 
I see 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 times 0 0.75, which is our last estimation for y. So x is totally going to be equal to negative 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.75, which is going to give us x equal negative 0 0.25 plus 0 0.19. It's going to give us x equal to negative 0 0.06. Okay, so iteration two, step two. Now let's go on again. So iterations and values. Values. Ah, can I write? <laughs> okay, um, so we just found that our digit value for x is actually equal to negative 0.06. Uh, so our value for y is still going to be 0.75. Value for z is still going to be 1.87. And the value for w is still going to be 2.94. And I'm going to load and underline only those three. Now we're looking for y an updated version of y so y the equation was 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4x plus 1 over 4z so it's dependent by x and z and therefore y is going to be equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 times negative 0 0.06 which is the latest um, estimation we have for z for x for x plus 1 over 4 times um, 1.87, which is our latest estimation for z that we still have to find in our second iteration, um, which is going to be in the next step. So uh, y is actually going to be, well, is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 times negative 0 0.06 plus 0 0.25 times 1.87. Therefore, y is at least equal to 0.5 minus 0.01 uh, plus 0.47, which is going to give us y equal 0.96, which is our updated version of y. So we have iteration 2, step 3. So we're, now we're going to be looking for um, z. So iterations and values. So uh, we already know that x is at least equal to 0 0.06, y is at least equal to 0 0.96. We have just found it here. Uh, z is still going to be equal to 1.87. We have to find it. And w is still going to be equal to 2.94. So I'm going to load only z and w so let's see the equation for z well the equation for z is one which is a scalar is not dependent by anything plus one over four y so it's dependent by y plus one over four w so it's dependent by w um so we're gonna so uh it's gonna be one uh, which is, which was our scalar plus one over four times 0.96 is our latest version for y uh, plus 1 over 4 times 2.94 which is our uh, latest version for w that we still have to find our second iteration uh, in the very step 4. Um, so currently step 3 uh, z is actually going to be 1 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.96 plus 0 0.25 times 2.94 and therefore z is actually going to be equal to 1 plus 0 0.24 plus 0 0.73 which is going to give us z equal to 1.97 so this is our latest and updated version for z and let's go on again so iteration 2 step 4 so, very last step for our iteration, full cycle of iteration 2. So, these are going to be our iterations, they're going to be our values. 
So we already know that x is equal to 0 0.06. We know that y is equal to 0 0.96. We have just found that z is equal to 1.97. And we are looking for w, which last time was 2.94. Um, so we're only going to load and underline w. Of course, we're looking for w. So w, let's see the equation. The equation for w is actually um, 5 over 2, uh, which is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, plus 1 over 4, um, x, so it's dependent by x, plus 1 over 4, z, so it's dependent by z. Uh, and therefore, we basically have that um, w is actually equal to 5 over 2, which was our scalar, it's not dependent by anything, so plus 1 over 4 times negative 0 0.06 so it's the very latest version we had for x uh, plus 1 over 4 times 1 um, 1.87 which is our um, no hold on a second 1.97 uh, is actually the the, 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 the very last one for z so this is 1.97 okay so this is actually this is actually correct so 1.97 um, therefore we basically have um, w equal to well um, we're still gonna have 5 over 2 we're gonna turn into a decimal so 2.5 plus 1 over 4 is going to be turning into decimal, so plus 0.25 times negative um, 0.06 plus 0.25 times 1.97. So basically, W is going to be uh, 2.5 plus, we basically have 0.25 times 0.06, which is going to give us 0 0.015, 0 0.015, um, and this other one um, is actually going to be 0 0.25 times 1.97, which is actually going to give us uh, something like 0 0.4925, um, and therefore W is actually going to going to be well, um, oh, well, um, this is actually a minus because we have a plus and a minus. So, sorry for the boo boo. Um, okay, so we basically have 2.5 uh, minus 0 0.015 plus 0 0.4925, which is going to give us, well, 2.97. So um, after all those iterations, our final values for x, y, z, and w, so our full uh, two um, iteration full cycle, uh, our values are gonna, actually going to be, well, x equal to negative 0 0.06, y equal to 0 0.96, z equal to 1.97, and w equal to 2.97. Okay, so once again, this is how the gauss seidel method works for solving um, those system of equations.